people. End of talk about uh, my Nissan GTR. Um, basically, when I was first going to buy the car, I didn't understand too much about them. So uh, with this video, we're going to cover pretty much all aspects of the car and uh, pretty much try and show you everything about my GTR. Things I'd like to have seen before I actually bought one. This is stuff on the internet, but I'm going to try and do an in-depth review to help people. Uh, future people that uh, or people that want to buy this car in the future so uh, yeah How's that for an engine? <laughs> that is mwah. Camera lady would like to come up a little bit, please. Thank you. This is me better angle, I think, with uh, me skin fade. <laughs> right, the engine, VR, 3.8 debt engine. It's a V6, twin turbo. Uh, the 09 model, standard, left the factory with 479 horse. Um, Chicks of Litchfield, Night Racer, um, I forget the one in AC Speed Tech, the one in Monson, sorry. Uh, me, I think I'm personally going to Litchfield to get the stage 4.25 done. That is going to give this little blue bad boy about 680 hours. And is that enough for the road? I think so. Anybody else who needs more than 680 hours. For a road going car, I think is is absolutely nuts because uh, the car is is capable from standard 193 miles per hour um, with our sort of BHP thanks to Litchfield, you're going to top 200. Not that you're ever going to do them speeds. I've never done them speeds, and I've always kept the speed limits, <laughs> 70 miles per hour. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, what a marvelous, marvelous engine. GTR problem number one. Now, when you buy these cars, you buy these cars to drive. They've been built to handle corners like, well, I can't say no with a car, but to me, I'm biased and I love these cars daily. But these cars are built for speed, uh, cornering, and whatever else. So you're gonna miss, they're not as quite as refined as, as other cars, BMWs, Mercedes, and so forth. Um, my one complaint is, is the Bose, let me just have the camera, the sound system. Now this sound system, I mean Bose is usually pretty good and it's had you know a, a really good reputation for being probably one of the best sound systems about. Now everywhere you look, you see Bose, you see Bose on the back seats but let me tell you it's probably one of the worst sound systems in the car I've ever heard in my life and considering these cars now are retailing probably £85,000 with uh, pretty much the same system is absolutely dreadful um, I, I, I believe Nissan must have put all the money obviously into uh, other aspects of the car but uh, unfortunately the bolt system uh, 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 not upgrading it yet will be but in all fairness when I'm driving a car do I want to listen to Def Leppard or you know ACDC no not really 
because I like the mechanical sounds of this car. I like to hear the turbo spool up. I like to hear the, the diff. I like to hear the gearbox. That's me personally. So anybody out there that thinks they're going to buy Creature Comforts, wherever else, and, and maybe seriously look at the M5. But me, GTR through and through. Right folks, boot space. Now how many cars out there can perform like a GTR and have no boots? I mean, boot space, I have four children, not, uh, I get four children in, well I, I can get two children in the back with no legs, but uh, that's something else we'll come to in a minute. But, GTR boot space. Look at that. I think you could probably get, with a squeeze, probably about six bags of shopping from Tesco so uh, which will keep the wife happy and uh, me not so happy if I have to buy the shopping so uh, yeah boot space in cars is absolutely incredible so that's a thumbs up from me all right now we're on to the brakes anybody that's looking to buy these second hand uh, needs to take consideration that the brakes the discs and the pads are absolutely out of this world price wise of Nissan um, I think you're looking at about two and a half thousand pounds just for a set of discs and pads for this car so basically when you're looking uh, to buy or purchase a second hand Nissan GTR look at the holes in the discs and obviously check the thickness of the pads um, obviously if you see any hairline cracks um, in the discs just try and knock them down a bit on price so uh, yeah that's another thing to look out for thank you right so i'm starting to lose track of how many things uh, uh, uh pros and cons of this car so maybe i should do a video which just counts the pros and the cons for it but I'm trying to do an in-depth review of what i think of this car so uh bad point seats now it's okay if you have really young children nippers but just to get four adults in this car it's a bit of a joke you ain't gonna do it so not unless i mean your kids can actually put their legs around their ears anything like that you're gonna struggle so well in, in, in my case i mean uh, my wife she's quite short five foot two i think is it around there five foot three see that, that, that's marriage for your kids uh, folks kids anyway right so leanne five foot three we can actually move the seat forward and we can actually get a child behind her who actually put legs down for me i'm six foot two more than six foot three i can get no children behind me so obviously that's the only downfall for this car but how many other cars out there again perform like this have a two plus two option and nobody's a Porsche <laughs> right another thing is the wheels and to the road the attester system on the GTR which has been throughout which is the GTR 32 33 34 and now the 35 the attester system is an outstanding system for traction um, makes that millionth of a second decision where to put power to which wheel to take it off brilliant and also that i didn't know that I've recently just found out that each wheel has 25 percent weight distribution over each wheel so basically these are really really balanced cars and they're really planted uh weight wise curb weight i think they're 1.7 ton 1.7 30 kg somewhere around there so and that's whisker in there all right people summary of this car up to now i've only owned the car for about two maybe three weeks i think it is um am i happy with it i'm over the moon i'm ecstatic this is my dream car i think it's fantastic um it's quick off the mark obviously been a gtr um i mean look at it uh, i'm in love with this car <laughs> um running costs Ooh, fuel the, that's a bit of a sticky one because fuel they do claim 30 to the gallon but when you put your 80 pounds worth of v power in this tank and then you see a range of 230 miles 
that's not much but who cares it's a weekend car you to have fun in it so it's, it's not much else i can say but you know if you can afford to buy one fuel really shouldn't bother you uh tires set four for this car um i really love the way the british ones look and whatever else um but in the wet they lose 80 percent of the grip so i'll be going down the michelin ps4 s route um them tires should cost me about 1200 pounds fitted uh obviously filled with nitrogen not air um, this is what this car should have um the seating problem is, is a bit of a thing for my children as they're four but it's as i say it's my car it's a weekend car and obviously we have a like a t5 bus for, for, for the actual family commutes um what else can i tell you there's not much else i can really say but yeah i mean apart from the second mortgage thing about buying the car but we only live once so yeah if you want it get it to uh, yeah thanks now folks oh don't forget to subscribe mm -hmm.